It was kindergarten when he started to gain weight. It was about second or third grade when I started to get made fun of. I saw the teasing maybe later around third and fourth grade. The standby was fat boy, fatty. I got called faggot a lot. At age 14, Josh Cox weighed 265 pounds. Food was my friend, and it was damn near the only friend that I had. At a low point, depressed and lonely, Josh began cutting himself. But I knew that the second I got home, all I'd have to do was take a pen or a razor, and I could feel my self-controlling pain. He also began intentionally throwing up his food. And it started to be like once every couple days, and then it went to once every day, and then it went to a couple times a day, and then it was everything that I ate. Two weeks into his freshman year of high school, six teenage bullies surrounded Josh as he walked home from school. They'd grabbed me, and they'd taken, it was about 10 feet away from a set of bleachers, and they had definitely prepped for this because they had duct tape in there backpacks. A few of them held my arms and legs and quickly duct taped my arms and legs against the bleachers so I couldn't go anywhere. I actually ripped at my shirt, ripped it down the middle, and uh, exposed my belly. They spent a lot of time flipping my stomach rolls and slapped my face a lot. When they are done, they just gathered their bags and walked away and, uh, and left me there. I was lonely. I was fat. I was cutting myself. I was throwing up my food. No one knew. And to make matters worse, I was, uh, I was hung up on some bleachers being forced to think about all that. After what seemed like an hour, a stranger happened by and freed Josh from the bleachers. Embarrassed and ashamed, Josh told no one what happened, but he devised a plan to put an end to the bullying. When my mom got home, I asked her to sign me up in a gym. And then I was just completely on board and yeah, let's do it right away. I think she knew how unhappy I was. He went every day. I mean, it was, he never missed. By the end of his junior year in high school, Josh had lost 60 pounds. Soon later, he stopped cutting himself. He conquered bulimia and a friend introduced him to bodybuilding. Ten, nine, eight, Fully transformed, Josh is now inspiring others at Anytime Fitness in Santa Rosa. There you go, like you mean business, baby. Strong body, strong mind. I pity the fool that says I can't in his class. Keep that head up, chest out. That's what stops the bullets. He lived I can't for so many years. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. That's right. And finally realized I can, and he did it. He draws people in, he makes it fun, he but he's also very sensitive. Let me hear you rebel, yeah! Several times every week, Josh leads a fitness rebellion class. Wait, The rebels say Josh gets them because he understands their pain. You own the exercise, it don't own you! Oh, he's not just a trainer, he's my brother. Ty Rivera used to weigh nearly 400 pounds. So when you ask me what Josh has done for me, he saved my life. Last station! Josh gets down here with us and says, I'm just like you. We've all been broken. Full extension on that right arm. Lori says she's never been athletic, but Josh taught her how to be strong. I can do anything I set my mind to. Kathy Tyler says Josh helped her lose 45 pounds in just six months. And now, instead of at the local bar, she gets her highs in his class. Josh changed my life. I'll always love Josh. Yes. Yes. Don't make me cry. <laughs> no longer tormented by schoolyard bullies, Josh is the one making people cry these days. Tears of joy. I'm just so proud of him. I love that he, um, he's so genuine and he's really making a difference. Let's bring it in! Bring he's changing people's lives. We're gonna get Rebellion on three! One, two!